Thank you for watching candlestick trading video. Two important bars for price action trading on outside bar is larger than the prior bar and totally overlaps it. There are many important bars used in price action trading. Here are two important bars for the traders. Inside bar. An inside bar is a bar which is smaller and within the high to low range of the prior bar. That means the high is lower than the previous bar's high, and the low is higher than the previous bar's low. Its relevant position can be at the top, the middle or the bottom of the prior bar. There is no universal definition imposing a rule that the highs of the inside bar and the prior bar cannot be the same, equally for the lows. This imprecision is typical when trying to describe the ever fluctuating character of market prices. Outside bar an outside bar is larger than the prior bar and totally overlaps it. Its high is higher than the previous high, and its low is lower than the previous low. The same imprecision in its definition as for inside bars above is often seen in interpretations of this type of bar. An outside bar's interpretation is based on the concept that market participants were undecided or inactive on the prior bar, but subsequently during the course of the outside bar demonstrated new commitment. Uh, it drives the price up or down as seen. Again, the explanation may seem simple but in combination with other price action. It uh, builds up into a story that gives uh, experienced traders an edge. The context in which they appear is all important in their interpretation. If the outside bar's close is close to the center, this makes it similar to a trading range bar because neither the bulls nor the bears despite their aggress. The outside bar after the maximum price is a failure to restart the trend and a signal for a sizable uh, retrace. Primarily, price action traders will avoid or ignore outside bars especially in the middle of trading ranges in which position. They are considered meaningless. Thank you.